Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and I do like video games and in today's video we're here on the Xbox Series S to take a look at the new Alan Wake expansion that just dropped. I'm pretty excited about this because I loved Alan Wake 2 uh, when it launched and I did very much enjoy uh, the last DLC they did. In fact, I think I need to beat the very final part of that last DLC but the first two parts I really, really enjoyed. Also, I do have the Deluxe Edition, and the two DLCs are exclusive to the Deluxe Edition, or you can buy yourself the Deluxe Edition Upgrade, and it gets you the two DLCs, and it gets you, I guess, everything you see here on the screen right now. So, let us hop in real quick, but before we do that, just to show you, this is the Series S. There is only one way to play this. There's no graphics options. Um, I believe it's 1080p. 30 on series s all right here we are loading into the lake house expansion and this one is going to be uh interesting because the first expansion wasn't really a focus on anything too scary it was more of an action game the first expansion uh there were some spooky parts in it but like for the most part felt a lot like um resident evil 3 or something like yeah there was some spooky parts but for the most part you kind of Felt like a badass. There was a lot of action. This is very much supposed to be horror focused. And I guess we're searching, or I guess we're um, exploring an FBC research facility. Which, if you're not aware of the FBC is, Federal Bureau of Control. And that was uh, the main thing in the control game that Remedy did a couple years ago. Great game, by the way, and you should check it out. I have a video on that game here on the channel if you want to check that out. I'm kind of talking over this because quite frankly, I'm probably going to restart it once I'm done with the video. Uh, I just want to do this video, get it out there for you guys so you can see what it looks like, see how it plays for yourself. And maybe get just a general feel for the tone and everything of the DLC. I'm only going to record about 15-20 minutes of it. And then, yeah, once I'm done recording, I'll probably restart the whole thing on my own accord. I don't know if you guys played the Alan Wake 2 when it launched. Uh, the base game for Alan Wake 2 when it launched. But I didn't think anything was going to beat Starfield for Game of the Year for me last year. And then I got Alan Wake 2 on a whim because I was like, Alan Wake 1 was cool. I enjoyed it. I thought Alan Wake 1 was pretty damn good. And then I got Alan Wake 2 thinking, well, this one will probably be pretty damn good also, right? And, well, I got it, and not only was it pretty damn good, it was incredible. This shouldn't take long, okay? You see anything? Radio me. Okay, so I got my flashlight. I've got a gun. Already off the bat, I've got less ammo in my gun than they gave me in the last DLC. Yeah, a ton of ammo in the first DLC. And investigations don't really see eye to eye. What they call science, I call a violation of bureau protocol and human decency. Classic interdepartmental drama, your FBI saga, you know how it goes. Now, in retrospect, my low opinion of the research department may have... I don't think I need a flashlight right now. It's still pretty light. That looks like a very spooky, random building in the middle of nowhere. This game does look really good, though. I know, it's running at 30 FPS on Series S. I get it. Not everyone... I mean, most people don't like 30 FPS. I feel like everyone's kind of over it at this point. But, God, the game looks good, man. It just looks really damn good. I don't think anyone's here. I don't think you gotta worry about that. Nobody's here, ma'am. Chill out. Oh, is it the janitor? Oh, damn. Dude, I thought, I thought it was Ati the janitor from Control for a second. Downstairs. Wait, where's downstairs? Man, I really want to solve this puzzle. 
but I'm also re I'll solve it later. I'll solve it later on my own time. That's another problem I have with Alan Wake. Uh, Alan Wake 2 specifically is I can spend so much time trying to solve little things like that. And when I'm recording a video, it's just not entertaining. I gotta keep that in mind. Five minutes later. All right, so I guess I need to find the code for that computer cause I need a key card. And I think that computer can give me a key card. I think. There should be a clue here. Oh yeah, so there's this. We are aware this may be an inconvenient change and lead to difficulty remembering your password. We recommend using a permanent set of digits as the beginning of the password followed by numbers that change daily. Okay, so there's 40 and 100 right there. But, let me see. Okay, well, I need one more number, so that's probably not it. What about this? Okay, 38 is in bold, in bold uh, lettering right there. So I'm assuming 38's part of it. So here, no. No. Ooh, hold on. 18. July 18 is in bold right there so that would be what zero seven eighteen wait let me see what that date was uh determined to appoint dr jules marmont as head of research at the facility at cauldron lake washington the appointment will be shared with diana marmont effective upon the facility's completion on july 18th so that is something i would assume wouldn't change that's the beginning of the password i would bet and what was the number right here 38. So July 18th will be 07 18 38. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I don't know what door that just unlocked, but oh, wait, security. So is it a door over here? How long has this been here? I never seen this. All right. They should get me downstairs. Well, that's the key card. Nice. What floor do I need to go to though? Or do I need to go to each floor? As soon as I got in that elevator, my bad news detector started going nuts. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not good. Hey, what's up? 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 Hey, a good question what the fuck was that where's the fucking elevator uh, the elevator's gone oh shit okay okay priority one get the lights on standing around in the dark near cauldron lake you're not smart Tell you, I don't love the noises I'm hearing right now. Oh, I think that's the noise right there. That TV. Not gonna lie. This has me a little bit spooked. Yeah, let me quick save, please. Before I go any further in here and get myself absolutely obliterated. Plugging a core in. Where the hell is the core? Well, I've seen... Oh. Oh.
<laughs> Dude, I'm so nervous. I've seen the trailer for this. I know stuff comes... Yeah. Yep. Oh, that is unsettling. I, yeah, but like I was saying, I've seen the trailer. I know things come out of those paintings. And I'm pretty sure I just put it together. Oh, shit. Can I drop this? I can't. Well, there was only one way out. Identify the source of the event and contain or eliminate it. Now, good news. I just had to keep going down. Oh, it's so dark. The elevator liked to disappear. It's so dark and there's so many noises. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Sounds like there's something right over there in that corner of the room. That's pretty neat. Oh, what is that noise? Turn your goddamn flashlight on. Okay, turn the receiver on. All right. Well, I think it's safe to say the vibe of this DLC is definitely scarier than uh, the first DLC. More in line with the uh, main game in terms of the fear factor I'm feeling right now. I don't like that I can hear things moving around in the painting. I don't love that. <laughs> It all sounds bad. I mean, I'm pretty certain I gotta go in here. I just gotta figure out how I do that. Can I move this? Ooh, wait, okay, hold on. Here we go. I forgot I had to hit that button. This looks familiar. I think something's gonna pop right out of this painting. Oh, hello. Hello. Bro, that thing can't understand you. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Oh. That thing don't care that you're an agent. That thing is a freak of nature. I don't know if you can kill him or not, but... Those were obviously paint monsters. Duh. I think I just wasted a bunch of ammo there. That's too bad. Well, the third floor doesn't seem as fucked as the first floor. Which I guess is a good thing. But then again, knowing Alan Wake, that probably just means that it's more screwed. Okay, I'm playing... Okay, I need to pause. I'm playing this like I'm just by myself playing. And I can't do that. Otherwise, I'll play for like an hour. So, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, this is Alan Wake 2, the Lake House expansion, just released today as I'm recording this, October 22nd, Tuesday, just released today. Um, I'm excited to play more of this. I might stream some of this, maybe, we'll, we'll see. I want to stream something horror-related on the channel, and this might be it. I'm also thinking about maybe Dead Space or Resident Evil 4 or something like that. I don't know yet, but I want to stream something horror-related here on the channel, uh, because it is October and we're coming up on Halloween and it's, you know, spooky season. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing that. But like I said, Alan Wake 2, the Lake House expansion running on Xbox Series S. It's 30 FPS. I can't remember if Digital Foundry said it's 1440p or 1080p. Either way, it looks really clean. I'm playing it on a 32 inch monitor. I'm pretty close to my monitor right now. So I would imagine if you're playing it on a nice big... 55 65 inch tv and you're pulled away from it it probably still looks pretty damn clean honestly but the game is awesome especially the base game alan wake 2 the base game is fantastic the night springs expansion is pretty damn cool and this so far is pretty compelling also it's a lot more terrifying than the night springs expansion but it's pretty damn compelling so far and I'm enjoying it. But leave a comment down below. Let me know if you plan on playing the Lake House expansion. Let me know if you've played Alan Wake 2 or the first DLC. Leave that in the comments below. Leave a like if you like the video. And if you're enjoying this kind of content and you want to stay up to date with it going forward over here on the channel, the best way to do that is consider subscribing. Consider ringing that notification bell because that helps you stay up to date with everything that happens over here on the channel. 
and it helps promote me and the algorithm helps push the videos out to way more people. And I always, always, always appreciate that. And with that being said, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.